okay so in this video I'm going to be dealing with something called operators in Java now operators theoretically it's defined as they are special symbols which perform a predefined task on a set of operands now an operand is well anything that you want very simply put an operator to perform a task on so let me give you an example to make it a little more clear let's say you have two numbers 5 and 7 you have to separate them with the plus operator so 5 plus 7 this the plus here is an operator so 5 plus 7 equals 12 so the plus is an operator so similarly in Java you have like 4 into 8 is 32 now for to write this these things in Java you have special symbols like you don't write into with an X you write it in a different way which I'll show you so I hope you got that now I can get into the Java well specifics of operators now so there let me just tell you what kind of operators there are they are classified on well in different manners so it, some people like to classify it on the types of operations that they do some like to classify it on the number of operands that they operate on so based on the types of operands there are arithmetic operators very simply that perform any arithmetic job and there are relational operators as the name suggests they check a particular relation between two quantities and there are logical operators which we will get into later I'm not gonna explain logical right now I'll explain it to you so arithmetic operators let's let's like subdivide this into the real mathematical symbol and the Java symbol so for addition the mathematical symbol is plus the Java symbol is also plus so let me just write here Java and math okay so for minus in math it's minus in Java it's also minus for multiplication in math it's an X in Java it's something called an asterisk if you want to see what it looks like just look on your on your keyboard look at the 8 key you'll see a star above it so if you want it to come you can just like press shift and 8 so you'll get that star that's for multiplication now division in math is like this division but in Java it's a slash so it's a backslash or a forward slash I think it, this is called a backslash I'm not quite sure but it's a slash it's the same one on your um, um, I'm sorry yeah it's the same key that is there on the question mark sign same slash and the last one um, I don't know whether this is there in math or not but in Java there is something called modulus for percentage now I'll make a special video explaining this modulus operator basically what it does it it finds the remainder of two numbers I will make a special video on this I promise so don't worry about that now that's arithmetic done now let me get into relational relational operators you have it's it's very simple you have less than you have greater than you have greater than equal to less than equal to and let's see what else do you have let me just make this a little more organized greater than less than greater than equal to less than equal to you have something called not equal to not not is an exclamation mark not equal to so greater let me just write it down 
lesser greater or equal lesser or equal not equal okay so does that and there is one more which is double equal to which I will explain right after I finish explaining logical operators so in logical operators you have I'm just gonna like make a small chart for it so and I'll explain it later you have and or not and this is the same hierarchy so you have for and you have two ands for or you have two parallel lines for not you have a single well exclamation mark so that's arithmetic relational logical operators done okay this is done so I hope you've got this now if you remember from the last video you will remember that okay, let me just go down a bit yeah you remember that I told you when you're assigning a variable you write something like int a equals 4 so and I told you that double equal to is a relational operator so now my question to you is what is the difference between a single equal to and a double equal to if I wrote 5 equal to equal to 7 if I wrote this in Java let's say I wrote 5 equal to equal to 7 that means th this double equal to it checks whether 5 is numerically equal to 7 but if I write int x equal to 5 I am assigning the value 5 to the variable x so the difference is that single equal to is an assignment operator to assign a value to a variable and double equal to is a relational operator which checks for equality between two quantities or two variables so I hope you got that now now what I'm gonna get into now is how operators are divided on the basis of number of operands operands are something that an operator performs its job on so on number of operands how are operators divided so there's one that's called unary which means one operand there's binary two operands and there's ternary three operands and these are very simple I, I don't think there's any explanation needed and now I'll just get into I'll get into something called postfix and prefix operators and increment or decrement operators okay so this is very simple let's say I write int c equals 4 that's a semicolon by the way and I write c plus plus the plus plus here is 
an increment operator that's where I see minus minus that's a decrement operator so I hope you got that now let's say I write plus plus C now plus plus is also again the same same function I add minus minus C same function now what is the difference between writing plus plus and minus minus this is where I get into what I have told you postfix and prefix operators I'm so sorry yeah postfix and prefix operators now in postfix operators what happens is the value of the variable the existing value is used to evaluate the expression and then the values change so if there's an expression a equals 4 and b equals 5 and you write c is equal to a plus 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 b plus a so a is originally 5 so it becomes it's it's originally 4 I'm sorry so it uses the value 4 then changes the value to 5 and b is 5 and a becomes here since we've used a postfix operator a becomes 5 so it becomes 5 plus 5 plus 4 or 4 plus 5 plus 5 that's 14 so I'll make a video on a few sums like this now in a prefix operator the value of the variable is first changed and that value is used to evaluate the expression so if we take the same thing a is equal to 4 b is equal to 5 c is equal to minus minus a plus minus b oh sorry plus 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 b I'm, I'm sorry just let me go back a bit lost my trail of thought minus minus a plus b plus a so a is originally 4 but it in since this is a prefix operator it changes changes the value first and then uses it so it becomes 3 plus b is 5 so it remains 5 and a here is 3 again so in this it changes the value first so that's 5 plus 3 8 plus 3 11 so I think that's about it for postfix and prefix and I think this video is getting a bit long let me just check the time yeah it is getting really long so I will make an another video on ternary operators and on these sums so I guess I know this was a bit long but I think you understood everything I said so I hope it helps you